Okay. Hey guys, I am here to do a Q&A for you guys. It is August 8th and that means it is a full three days since I got my tummy tuck in Mexico, Mexicali. Um, don't, don't fucking play me with how I pronounce it because I'm pronouncing it how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, Mexicali. <laughs> I am the worst Mexican you guys will ever meet. I don't know, like, really any Spanish. Like, I don't know. I got a little bit, but not enough. Um, and you would think, when you call, like, how much I go to freaking Mexico, I would know more. Um, but anyways, so I wanted to answer some questions for you guys. Because you guys are all wondering where I went. So I went to this place called New Body um, Doctors on Instagram. I did a lot of research on them. I saw a lot of their before and afters. Um, I followed the people that, you know, went to them and like asked them about their experience and like there was like really good reviews, really good results. So I did a lot of research for many, many months on them. Um, so I will link down their Instagram and that's how I contacted them. I started off by just writing them, asking for a quote. Um, it was a process, like I, had to send in pictures of my body fully naked just so they could see like basically what they're working with and what needs to be done um they have deals a lot so there was like a full package of me getting like i'm gonna tell you guys everything the whole like every little Spill. yes every little detail from beginning to end so initially my package deal was back lift uh floor delis tummy tuck and that's when it goes down and across like literally all the way down and then across to my hips, like literally all the way. Um, and then, hold on, let me fix this a little bit. And then I was getting uh, Lipo 360 BBL. Um, for those of you guys that don't really know me or don't follow me on social media, maybe just stumbled upon my name or my YouTube or whatever. Um, December 30th, 2020, I got gastric bypass surgery. So that's weight loss surgery. I basically lost over 170 pounds um so what i'm getting to is i had a lot of extra like loose skin so after i lost all that weight i had to get that the floor de lis tummy tuck and i wanted to get a back lift and then the bbl was just like an extra thing i don't really mind um i don't really mind like having a big ass but like it was in the package deal so i was like oh like let's do this whatever um so from there i talked to the coordinator from there, I sent in my deposit, which was $500 to secure my um, my date. And then from there, they like gave me like all these little benefits of like a complimentary stay at the recovery home. Um, so I was talking to them, getting more information from um, the recovery home. Like it was just this whole big thing, right? Um, so after that happened, um, I had an issue with my labs and stuff. So I initially was going to get a surgery in July. Um, then it like prolonged to another month so I can get like all my labs good. Everything was fine or whatever. So I thought, okay, so then after that, it's surgery time, right? I'm getting prepared all these months. I'm buying every little thing I think I need for the BBL, for like um lipo i got like all those foam boards you guys saw my other video if you haven't seen my other video go check that out because that's everything i you know got prepared for um and i bought so finally it's surgery day um i go they have me do my own labs over there so i had to go a day before um august 4th and they do my blood work they run some tests on me they do x-rays like they do a full like thing on me to make sure like you know where i'm at what i'm doing whatever um physical all that um further finding out that my hemoglobin levels were not very good i guess like they were just at a normal range to the point where my doctor actually um said he wasn't comfortable doing the back lift um so that was out um, from there, they basically not reimbursed me. They basically cut down the cost. Um, 
let me go to Costco. I, mean, I know this is like everywhere, but it's all gonna match, okay? I hope you guys can uh, carry along, I guess, with me, because I'm kind of just like going everywhere. My surgery, the whole package deal was 7,500. When I say that, it sounds crazy. I know, you guys are like, what? Like that is cheap, like what the fuck? Like blah, blah. It is a very good like price, right? And it's almost sketchy to me. I mean, it was at first, but I did a lot of research before um, actually, you know, going through with it, sending deposit. Like I really did a lot of research and like I followed everybody that followed them type thing anyway. Um, and mind you, in here in the States, I'm in Arizona, by the way. I'm in Arizona. I've gotten quotes like from Dr. I think his name is Scottsdale. Um, Dr. in Scottsdale, Miami, um, Repta, like no offense on them. I mean, they're great doctors. I would have totally went to them if I had that type of money to be, you know, doing it. Um, but I've gotten quotes from them and had to pay for like quotes just for a quote. And like it was like a hundred and some dollars just for a quote um but they were all over like twenty thousand twenty eight thousand miami was thirty one thousand because of everything i need done that's why it was it was it's expensive it's super expensive here in the states so when i got that quote in mexico you best believe i was like oh interested let me figure this out so that's when i was doing all this research um so let me go back to where i was um my hemoglobin levels were not like up to par basically and he took out the he wasn't um comfortable doing my back lift so then it would took a thousand off of that okay so um going through the bait so at that point what's that that's like six six thousand five hundred instead of seven thousand five hundred okay so then um you know, a whole day goes by. All my everything is good. Everything else, like all my X rays, everything was fine. So we're like good to go. We know that at that point it was just floor release, B uh, three hundred and sixty lipo BBL. Next day, going in, um, I'm talking with my doctor. He's actually looking at my body. Like the whole consultation is happening, right? And um, he is like marking my body. And like, he's basically like, just trying to explain to me, like, there's just no way I can give you the BBL results that you want. And he honestly was like, I will, I could try, but because being a biatric uh, patient, getting weight loss, um, that my, my fat is really like, I don't know how to explain it other than like oatmeal. That's how I, that's the only way I know how to explain it is like oatmeal. Like it's not good fat, like it's not good, um, health, like healthy, like thick fat that's gonna like last. So like, really, he was just like knowing that it's not gonna stay because apparently when you any girl and anyone that gets a BBL, they they tell you to go bigger because it go it'll like dissolve. It'll like won't, like it won't stay alive. I guess it won't stay there. So you're supposed to go bigger, um, and so. Who basically was like, yeah, like I'm not gonna be able to give you the results you want. So then it went down, they gave 500. So at this point, everything now from what, I, what I've gotten was just now 6,000, 6,000 flat because of like all these things that are happening. But I respect, I respect my doctor for doing that. I really respect him for doing that because he couldn't just made me pay all that and he could have did all that and it could have been a super big risk i could have you know who knows um risk can ha definitely have it. exactly like that's such a big risk and he wasn't willing to take that risk so i really respect him for you know making out decision. and making that decision you know um it was in the operating room so he was just like yeah no like this is this is what's gonna happen so i was just like all right you know well let's just do what we gotta do let's see you know i'm at that point, I'm just giving it to God. At that point, I'm like, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Or, you know, if it's like, you know, gonna harm me, obviously, sorry, I have to adjust it. Um, so yeah, what's the, let me see your phone really fast. After that, uh, so I, I go in, like, it's just like, I'm getting suited up, 
hair net, you know, they're like giving me these compression socks, a, a whole garment, um, and uh, getting my IV, like I'm just getting suited up for surgery. Um, sorry, my, my camera died. Um, so I'm getting ready to go in, you know, and then it's basically, they, they walk me to the back. It's like a clinic. Um, so I go in, uh, they get me on the, the bed, like not a bed, you guys know, it's like a table. And at that point, um, I'm getting like oxygen. So then I'm basically about to be out. Like they just put, I don't know if they just put it in my IV or what, but I just remember being like kind of woozy. <laughs> I've had surgeries before. So it's like, I know what it is. I know how it feels or whatever. And it's like a moment where you're like all woozy and then boom, black. It's just, then you wake up and you're like, what the? So that's kind of how it was. Um, I remember being like, what was your name again? <laughs> to one of the nurses and she told me, and I swear to God, I'm so bad at names. I don't even remember what her name was. So I feel bad, but, and then I looked at the other girl and I was like, and what was your name? And she told me her name. Um, don't remember the name, feel bad, but um, they were super sweet. They were super sweet. Um, then I just woke up and I was in the like recovery room and uh, they were taking really good care of me. They were super sweet, making sure I needed any, anything. Um, they, let, my sister was super worried about me and they let my sister like come back and say hi, and, like give me my phone and it was cool. Like they're super clean too. Like I had a really good experience at this, uh, this facility, clinic, doctor, all that, you know? So I would recommend them. Um, if you want to do a Florida lease, they're really good. Like, I mean, granted I'm three, three full days out and I feel great like I feel like super good um I'm drinking like my arnica tea so like I don't get like bruising or like swelling I have like water with chlorophyll and liquid zinc and then I'm drinking um my water with my liquid IV in it so I'm like just putting a bunch of liquid inside of me um another question was BMI requirements um, so body doctors is 32, which is really, I feel like flexible. Cause a lot of, a lot of doctors out here in the state, they don't go to 32. Um, what else was the question? How long is the healing process? So everyone's different. I've heard a lot of stories that it could take up to, you know, three to six months, uh, three to six weeks. I think it all depends on you as a person, your mentality, your your diet, your um, what you consume, like you know your your drinks and stuff, and how well you you treat your body. Honestly, like I know there's like a few girls that are really careless and they don't really you know know what they're doing or they don't know how to take care of themselves and they're sitting there you know still healing after like three to six months like that just seems unrealistic to me i'm already prepared to be up and like i'm walking around doing dishes like i'm sweeping i'm putting my laundry in the uh washer like i'm helping my son you know i have a four-year-old so it's like i have help you know but i'm definitely staying active because for one i don't want to get a blood clot because that's like scary to me that's like one of the, the things that could happen uh, blood clots, uh, like, what else? Um, like a hemorrhage? I don't know. There's a lot. I didn't realize how much risk there was, but my ass is, I'm like ADHD slash OCD, like a little mild form. I haven't been diagnosed, but like my ass is like walking around, like doing the, I think I'm doing a little too much. Sometimes I'd be like, oh, yo, you need to chill out. Like you just got cut the freak up. So, um, but other than that, like, yeah, I anticipate being like back at it in like three to six weeks, weeks. Like I'm, I'm like a human Hulk. I heal really fast and all my little remedies are gonna help me uh, heal faster. So yeah, cheers and amen to that, right? Um, other than that, I just wanna thank everybody for all the, the support, the love, the well wishes. Um, 
I definitely would recommend new body doctors uh, for a Florida lease for biatric patients. Um, because he's like, he like specializes in that. And I would also like a little advice would be, um, don't lose so much weight and then try to go get a BBL. <laughs> Who would have known? Cause my, like my whole goal since being from 340 pounds was to just lose mad weight and go get my body done and whatever, whatever. But who would have known that I would have to gain weight at the end of this process just to be able to get a fat ass? Ugh, pisses me off. But um, yeah, so I all I got was a tummy tuck. And I think I look great. Like I, I'm literally gonna get up and show you guys how I look. Um, if you follow me on other social medias, you guys already got a fucking glimpse. Um, by the way, I'm gonna link my TikTok, link my um Instagram and Facebook. No, I'm not gonna link my Facebook. I shouldn't link my Facebook, but let me show you guys my body real fast. I'm like still a little swollen, mind you. Um, mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you. My sister's like the best supporter. Like, oh, have somebody, another advice, have somebody go with you, be your freaking rider. Someone that's gonna really, uh help you when you're getting cosmetic surgery like you need a rider with you and um so yeah like this is this my new body you can't barely see my freaking head you can just see my this is my new body um i'm wearing a fall right now uh should i show them my incisions like where mm -hmm. just the all I, i'm not gonna like take it down but Tell me why when I took it, they first took down my uh, Faha, I like literally passed out. And my sister's such a freaking like, she's just smart. Like she just, she's like, do you have alcohol to the, the nurse? Rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol to the nurse. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, so they're like putting it in my nose and my sister is. And I'm like, oh my God. Like I literally went blank. Like I went like, eee. Couldn't hear shit. Couldn't hear nothing. I was like, hold up. Hold up, like literally about to like pass out, and my sister like had my fucking bag, and then I'm like smelling it, and I'm like, oh my god, I can like I can, I'm, I'm like waking up, yeah. Anyways, but that's because like when they took it down, it was just like it feels so much better. You can barely see me, I hate this. It's not the lighting, it's just my position, position on my camera. Anyways, you guys get the gist. Um. Uh. So yeah. Uh. What was I gonna say? Lost my train of thought. Um. Oh, the faha. I'm not gonna take it down because I'm scared. I'd be scared. Like I've Dude, never. You're so snatched. I've really never nice. felt like I was gonna. I've never fainted. Never like fell out in my life. So when I felt that, I was like, Oh my god, what is this? But anyways, you can kind of tell. Okay, so incision. Excuse me. Hip to hip, and then um all the way up. Crazy because I'm about to show them like the whole whole thing it goes up to like between my, my it's shishis. a floor lease right yeah it's floor lease tummy tuck it goes up to my shishis um and yeah like i'm just really just like flat i feel like i'm a little swollen still i have like these foam boards that i i posted on um the the what was it what i'm taking in mexico for my whatever that video um I have foam foam boards like in my back to hold like my my skin closer to. Let me see to your you. sides. Let me see the sides or like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I move can... your up. Flat in the front. That's amazing. I feel like it's swollen though. Still. No, they said that you're a medium and then you'll be a small after the swelling, dude. You're three days out. I know. I'm not trying to be hard on myself. I love my body. Literally, I love this body. It's just it just kind of looks a little. Maybe it's the angle. I don't know. A little, little thick. She looked thick. I don't know, but I just—it's so crazy because like I've never had this type of body. You can kind of see my jeans. And you look great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like my my boobs are even closer. Yeah, the little is definitely snatched up in the boob area. Hmm. Yeah. Well, um, I'm trying to remember any other questions. Um, so you guys know new body doctors, I will link like their Instagram so you guys can get in contact with them. And then, uh, the whole cost was 6,000 BMI requirements, 32, uh, 
They had a three day complimentary stay. Um, uh, what else, what else? Can you remember anything, Monique? Mexicali. Um, what else? Hmm. Oh, and then healing process. Yeah, that's literally, that's one thing that I like. I'm like, cause I'm do I'm living it right now. I guess I should update maybe in like a month or two and tell you guys how like my healing process, I'm literally going to be making mad videos of like all this. I'll like show you guys. Cause like tomorrow, today was the first day that I could actually take a shower, but mind you, I just cleaned all my bandages like super good. Um, there's, there's like stitches, sutures, and then there's tape over it that they put. And I'm not fucking with that tape. I'm not supposed to even touch, like move that tape, clean that tape. That shit's just supposed to stay dry. What I do is there's two like spots in the back above my butt. Cause I believe he, he did, he did the lipo. So, um, those, those incisions I have to clean. It's just gauze and tape, you know? And then I have uh, my spray to keep everything really clean and my gloves and all that. Um, so that's all I really have to like clean. But so I was thinking maybe I should make a video of like me getting ready to take a shower with them on. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to, I'm going to try to be creative with it. Or maybe I could do a video of like me showing you guys how I drain my drains too. Cause hold up. I don't think I showed you guys. I have to like get on this tape, this chair or something. Be here, please. I am. Like I have drains literally. Like they're just hanging. The left one, I don't really drain that much. Like, there's not a lot of uh, fluid buildup. But this right one be, they, like, this right one be uh, acting crazy. Uh, me and my sister, we've been rubbing, doing, like, massages to my back. They said they didn't want me to do um, the lymphatic massages uh, to my front yet. Just until, like, you know, it's healed. Then I can go get, you know, massaged out or whatever. But we've been doing my back. And, like, honestly, um, it's so, it's, like... The pain, oh, that's another one. I just remind myself, pain level. Obviously, you guys can tell my pain tolerance is pretty high. Not to toot my own horn, but like this is like a piece of cake. And I don't know if I should knock on wood because I'm like, like let's not jinx that shit. But I'm really like, I've had two C-sections with both my boys and I've had a gastric bypass surgery. Um, it's gastric bypass surgery was way worse than this. Huh? Gastric was way worse than a tummy tuck? Then the uh, tummy tuck and my two C-sections. Mm -hmm. The gastric bypass was like... So this is worse? No, gastric bypass was worse. Th this, oh. is, this is like my C-section like level. And it didn't hurt. Like, I... The highest pain, I will say maybe with five. Literally, it's not bad. Um, if you had a C-section, then you know what it feels like. Uh, uh, a bit like it just it just feels like that like it is kind of like there's like I'm trying to describe it because everybody was asking me like my pain tolerance on this and um like how I'm moving mm -hmm. around so like you just feel the like you just feel like certain spots when it's like you move obviously you're moving you feel like you're you feel like certain little stings here and there but it's not like pain and it doesn't like hurt it's just like you know in your head it's all mental literally it's mental like you know in your head you're like you move so that little part is just getting tugged a little bit and then like when you you stop moving or if you are walking or you get settled it goes away mm -hmm. like literally it's all mental and like for me i have a really strong like m mental like and like pain tolerance mm -hmm. so i at the highest pain was five legit five um i've been experiencing now like this third day right tell me why i'm like going on a rant now <laughs> tell me why the first no second day when we finally got home oh my god i didn't even say that i didn't stay those three days at the recovery home they said after 24 hours i could be out and me and my twin we're like three hours away arizona is really close to mexicali so we came home, like, and I was in my car, like, got all my little, like, pillows around me. I was shielded perfectly fine. Um, that ride was, and then every hour uh, or, like, 45 minutes, we'd stop and get gas. So when my sister would fill up with gas, my, I was just walking around, 
you know, moving around and whatever. We had we drained my drains once um, on the the way home. Um, but yeah, so I don't really know where I was going with that, but I just wanted to let you guys know I didn't go to the recovery home. I just came home, and uh, yeah, you know why I was going with that? No, ma'am. Oh well, that was just something a little a little bonus. But anyway, um, but yeah, so these drains in a week apparently they might be able to get taken out if they're not like got a lot of fluid. Like I said, my right side has like barely like like literally this much fluid every morning. And then it's the right side. Wait, no. Left side, the, my left side um, that has more fluid. Um, but I'm glad, like I'm glad that the fluid's coming out because I don't want to like have any like pockets of fluid inside of me. Well... I'm gonna end it here because I'm going everywhere with this and I can't like I can't even remember all the questions but oh but the pain tolerance wasn't that bad I mean for me you just gotta kind of like psych yourself out and I've always wanted this like to happen since I was a little girl I've always been big me and my twin we've always been the the big ones and um so I feel like overwhelmed with happiness and like a relief and like a legit weight lifted off my shoulders. Like I feel like I am who I'm meant to be. Like I look how I feel type of thing. And um, I think that's what's helping me with recovery. You just gotta keep a positive mindset. And if you wanna do it, do it, do your research. Um, if you don't wanna do it, then don't do it. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna end up going to the gym and trying to get my booty since oh, I yes. wasn't able to get my BBL. Um, other than that, like, it's all love. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, watching. Um, definitely going to be doing some more videos. Um, me and Twin have some little things coming in the making. So follow me, follow her. I'll link all of our stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe, uh, share, comment. If you guys have any other questions, let me know.